Hey guys, Riley Chase here with Hostify, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a failed UNMS update. In the future, this will be called a UISP, so a failed UISP update. And uh, you can see here that in this uh, this server, I have version 1.2.7 of UNMS. I'm trying to update to 1.3.7 of UISP, and I ran the update yesterday, and there's an error message here that says the last update attempt had failed. Error was not enough disk space. Installation requires at least three gigabytes of free disk space. And um, in order to diagnose this problem, uh, you would go and connect to your server via SSH like this. Now at Hostify, we're, we have a duo for two-factor authentication on all of our servers. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve this login request. And now that I'm logged in, um, I'm going to go ahead and download a tool called ncbu. Now I'm running on Debian 9 Linux, so the commands might be slightly different if you're running on a different distribution. But if I do apt get install ncbu-y, this will install ncbu, and this will um, this tool will help you figure out where all the disk space went. So if you do ncbu space and then uh, slash to start the root directory, what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and scan the entire um, file system and look for areas that are um, taking up more disk space and you can kind of track it down directory by directory. Now, normally when you run out of disk space, um, there's usually a few common offenders, like um, if you're not getting rid of old backups, you know, your backup files will eventually um, grow and grow until they fill the entire hard drive. Uh, if you're not uh, rotating your log files, log files are something there, you know, it's uh, the server every time it boots up and every time something happens, it's writing to these log files and over time, they'll eventually fill up, become full, fill your entire hard drive. Um, so those are two of the first things I would normally check for are the log file um, and the log files and the backups to see if those are taking up space. But what's interesting, what we're gonna find out shortly here is that in this case, the log files and backups are not uh, the problem. It's actually some garbage in um, the Docker process, which it's maintaining old versions of the Docker images and a um, bunch of stuff in there. And so there's actually gonna be a command that uh, I'll show you how to run to fix this, to get rid of this old Docker junk. And um, we'll see shortly once this finishes. So it took a few minutes there um, and NCDU finally completed. You can see uh, from here, there's kind of a graphical interface where you can browse between the directories and see how much space they're taking up. On the left side, you can see this var directory is taking up 18 gigabytes. Now I know this hard drive is 25 gigabytes, so that's a substantial amount of the hard drive is going towards the var directory and drilling into that and go to var, lib, docker, and then overlay two. This is the directory where you can see all the space is going 16 gigabytes. And there's all these files in here that I'm not really sure exactly what they're for, but um, they're taking up a lot of space. And uh, I'm not going to go and just delete files that I don't know what they're doing, but I did look into this and there is a command for pruning um, stuff that's no longer in use with Docker. And so um, bringing up more information on this page here, Doctor, Docker system prune, this command will remove unused data, which includes the following, um, all stopped containers, all networks not used, dangling images, build cache. So this is all stuff that's not going to affect um, any of your UNMS settings that's in there taking up space and just needs to be pruned from time to time. So looking more into the command details with Docker system prune command, you can do dash dash help to learn more about the different options. And the one that we want to do is docker system prune dash a dash f that's going to prune all unused images, not just dangling ones and dash f forces it to not to uh, not prompt for confirmation on um, just go ahead and do it. All right, so it took a few minutes and that command just completed and you can see there's a bunch of output here, but um, at the bottom it says total reclaim space 10 gigabytes. And if you do df dash h, this is disk free dash human readable, it will show that the um, drive under slash dev slash VDA one, uh, total size 25 gigabytes. Now only 7.5 are used. And so there's 16 available. Before I ran this, there was less than three gigabytes available and that's why the update failed. So now we're all set. We have uh, more than enough space to install the new update. And so I'm gonna go back to UNMS here, click update to current version, download and install, confirm. And in a minute here, I'll uh, cut the video and, and show you once it's uh, finished updating. So the upgrade was successful. You can see that I'm now on version 1.3.7 and hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up on this video on YouTube and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more content like this. 
Um, also, we provide a U UISP hosting. So if you are interested in having our team manage the server for you, you won't have to worry about stuff like this in the future. We take care of updates, backups, provide support. Head over to uh, hostify.net slash UISP or get in touch with our team. If, uh, if you need help with anything, just reach out to us. Thanks.